Okay, so finally OnePlus have started rolling out first Oxygen OS 14 open beta for OnePlus 11. After three alpha builds, now we have the first open beta build for OnePlus 11. And in this video, we'll talk about every new add-on done on Oxygen OS 14 from scratch for new users. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 11 on which I've already installed the latest build. So if I go to about section here, you can see it says Oxygen OS 14 instead of Oxygen OS 13.1 which we have seen on alpha bells and beneath that it also says beta version so this is the first beta version and if you see the version here it says 14.0.0.80 it still comes with 5th august 2023 security patch as i was a part of alpha testing so i received an ota update of 210 mb here you can see it says beta version right now files are not available and i cannot give you the incremental file soon the files are available you can manually install it by selecting local install option if you guys don't see this local install you can just go to about section version tap on the build number seven times until you see you are a developer now after that you'll be able to install the file locally and make sure to use the full zip file instead of incremental file now talking about the benchmark results so i do have the screenshots with geekbench application single core have scored 2020 and multi-core scores are 5334 this was done in high performance mode and here you can see the results of previous build wherein single core scores were 2001 and multi core scores were 5018. Slight higher benchmark results to be seen on first open beta of Oxygen OS 14. And when we talk about CPU throttling, so these are the results. At last I did notice bit of throttling issues when my device temperature increased. On the previous build there were no throttling issues. Initially everything was fine but at last there were some throttling issues and maximum CPU throttled only up to 58%. And now before moving ahead, if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. As I said, we'll talk about every new add-on from scratch for new users. Our regular users must have already seen those features in our previous videos of alpha builds. So I'm really sorry for you guys if you had to see me repeating those features again. You guys can check the timestamp and skip those features. So starting with the first change which is layer to lock screen. So if you are using pin to unlock your device, now you will see the changes in the dial pad or you can say the number pad. Now numbers have a grayish background which wasn't the case on Oxygen OS 13.1. After that second change is also layered to lock screen and that's the charging animation. Here you can see the changes on 13.1 and Oxygen OS 14. Now charging animation pops out decreasing the visibility of background. When we talk about the home screen, so on the home screen now you'll get to see this search tab towards the bottom side. But a lot of users have already asked us about this thing whether it can be removed or not so yes guys you can remove it so here you can see under launcher setting there is an option called show search in the lower part of the home screen if i disable it that thing will be removed from the home screen so it completely depends on you if you guys want that feature you can just enable it and if you don't want you can disable it right now in the quick setting tiles there are no changes done and it's the same story from first alpha build but there is a hint of upcoming changes which you guys can find it in the display section so if i go to display display font here you can see the preview now we have a similar preview what we have seen on one ui 6.0 if you closely see we have the same two horizontal tiles after that a set of other quick setting tiles followed by the brightness slider and another tile towards the bottom side so what i feel is oneplus will soon change the design of quick setting tiles on oxygen os 14 upcoming builds right now as i said there are no changes but what we are seeing here in the display size we might get to see some changes now shelf remains same did not notice any kind of changes still on open beta for global users we do get to see this chinese text in some of the tiles if you guys remember on alpha builds we had a great feature called file doc which i have already shown in my previous videos but that feature have been removed from first open beta and now you cannot access that feature on first open beta here you can see towards the left hand side i have my oneplus 10 pro on which i have installed alpha build and there's a feature called file doc which was a very useful feature to save text or images 
I don't know why OnePlus have removed this feature. Some minor tweaks are also done in the app drawer. Here you can see the screenshot of 13.1 and 14, wherein when you slide the alphabets present on the right hand side, now the pill size is smaller compared to 13.1 and it comes in the white background instead of wallpaper based color. Next change is layer to alert slider. So on 13.1 whenever we used to move the alert slider, the pop-up of the alert slider used to change the shape and position according to the alert slider position but that's not the case on Oxygen OS 14. After that camera UI got revamped minor changes are done on oneplus 11 they have also added this 5x zoom and about the picture quality will be coming up with the full review because it's the first public beta and it's the right time to do a full review in which we'll cover things like camera quality gaming performance battery etc so if you guys have any particular questions you can let me know in the comment section below other than ui i did not notice any kind of new add-ons in the camera application gallery app got slight upgrades and some new add-ons for example if I have any picture which doesn't include this Hasselblad exclusive watermark, you can later add that thing. If it is already added, you can remove it from the edit tab, going to watermark section and select none. That will remove the watermark. So according to your requirement, if you want the watermark, you can have it on the picture. And if you don't want, you can remove that. Weather application provides a lot of information now compared to the previous one. And it now also provides you lifestyle tips. Talking about some of the customization options, so OnePlus have added some new AOD styles which can be found in the wallpapers and style section going to AODs and towards the bottom side you can see now there's an option called carbon footprint and if you tap on this info button which says walking 10,000 steps instead of using other modes of transport can reduce carbon emission by up to 1.74 kg. Set a daily goal and follow your progress on the always on display which is a great implementation from OnePlus. Here we have three different AOD styles which you can choose and you can also make the changes in the text of the clock. When it comes to customization, this is what you'll find on Oxygen OS 14 right now. But when we talk about AOD, there's a new feature called Smart Suggestion. So let me tell you what exactly is this Smart Suggestion. So basically you can track your rides and your food deliveries directly on the AOD. So here I'm not sure if you guys are able to see the preview but this is how it will look on the status bar and always on display. For rides we have the grab application and for the food deliveries we have the applications like Zomato and Swiggy. In my review video I will show you guys the sample. For that I have to first place an order. You can also choose where you want to see this pop up, notification, lock screen and always on display. And at last there is a new preview under screen resolution which wasn't present on 13.1. And I'm damn sure if you are trying Oxygen OS 14 for the first time, you'll obviously love the experience of touch, animation, fluidity, everything is top notch on Oxygen OS 14. Till now I did not see any kind of lags or jitter while using Oxygen OS 14, even the alpha builds. Once you guys install, do let me know your experience about Oxygen OS 14, animations, touch, etc. And few more features will be unlocked with beta 2. So let's hope things like file dock, redesign quick setting panel appears in upcoming beta builds. So guys, this was all about the first Oxygen OS 14 open beta build. If you guys have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys are gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give us a thumbs up. And also if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.